Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of One Shots, where we pose one question to a creator, and we have a special treat, at least for me, uh, and that would be Jude Ellison S. Doyle, the writer of the fantastic and very popular Maw series from Boom Studios. Jude, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Okay, so we've got one question for you. But before we do that, why don't you go ahead and let people know how they can find you on social media. And if you have any websites that you want people to go ahead and check out, go ahead and provide that right now. Absolutely. Um, I am on Twitter. My Twitter is a hell world. I'm very bad at it. But you can find me at S-A-D-Y-D-O-Y-L-E, Sadie Doyle at Twitter.com. And uh, you can also follow me on Medium, which is where I do most of my writing at judedoyle.medium.com. Perfect. Okay, so as far as the question goes, uh, this is something that me, Sonny, and Jamie are all really curious about. And I'm very curious to see what uh, answer you give for this. So what are the challenges you've come across when writing a horror story versus a conventional story in the comics medium? I think that it is, everyone will tell you this when you start out, that horror is very much a genre that's about climbing. And when you're thinking about it, if you're thinking about a horror movie or even like a Stephen King novel, so much of what's scary comes from something jumping out at you or surprising you. It comes from the buildup of tension and the big release. Mm -hmm. A comic is a really different art form in that even if the reader reads it you know in a in a linear way and when you think of like comics you've read you probably think of the story from front to back but your right. eye on some level is registering everything happening on the page at once there is no such thing as a jump scare you know right. it it's it all has to just happen in the images and what i love about that for me is somebody who's kind of an argumentative writer and who can very quickly give into the temptation to make something a, a punchline or a joke rather than just sitting with it mm -hmm. um, is that in comics everything being scary comes down to that one haunting image you have to 100 percent relax into the atmosphere into the setting into the creation of something that you've never seen before that your artist you know obviously got to work with Al Kaplan, and he's astonishingly good at what he does. Amazing. You know, yes, so good. <laughs> Just the grossness of those monster effects. Oh, it makes me so happy. But, um, you know, you just have to, like, let yourself succumb to the visual logic of it, where somebody is going to float through your comic in terms of images mm -hmm. and letting yourself have that experience with them rather than trying to push something forward or make it shocking is, is typically the best way to go. Right. Okay. And that makes sense because like uh, one of the things that I loved about Ma was the fact that a lot of the, uh, the violence and the horror, even though there was a fair amount of it on the page for you to see and to be exposed to, the important pieces were left off panel and it left your mind to figure out and fill in those pieces. And I love stories like that because your mind is your own worst enemy and it lets you, uh, just kind of open up and, and fill in gaps that you normally don't want to see. And, and that just adds to the story and makes it a little bit more personal. Yeah. And I think that that's, I mean, a comic when it's done really well can just melt time and space around you. It can take you into that like hallucinatory mood. Certainly Alan's layouts do that so, so well. Yeah. And I think that that, that writing for, for comics was really like, I'm a big believer that you're, you should write for the form you're writing for, right? Like, don't try to write a movie as a comic. Don't try to write a novel as a movie, you know? Um, but this pushed me. I think that a lot of what's scary about my you're exactly right, is the stuff that you don't see, the stuff that you don't know, the feeling that maybe you can't even trust what you see or what you yeah. remember. And and that's 100% due to me just like having to think about things in terms of panels and pages and, you know, what are we going to show? I, I had like initially in the script, it was very gory and there were like lots of intestines and body parts out. <laughs> and it was like, I think maybe this is, this is distracting from your point a little bit, but. <laughs> so Sometimes. 
sometimes subtlety is is a lot better than uh putting everything out on the table because if you can hold your cards and let people just kind of think about what's going on that just makes it all the more for me make makes the experience a whole lot better okay so jude thank you very much for answering that question for us today before we get out of here once again let everybody know uh where they can find you on social media and your website one more time all right if you look me up on social media it's a name i don't use anymore it's sadie doyle s-a-d-y doyle um and that's twitter and then judedoyle.medium.com is where I do a lot of my nonfiction writing. And I, uh, I actually have a newsletter about horror on ghost, jude-doyle.ghost.io. <laughs> it's a long, long URL, but I trust you, I trust you to find this newsletter of mine. <laughs> all right, guys. And once again, you can find us on all the socials, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitch, and over on Spotify. All you have to do is type in the Codex Podcast, Codex Podcast, or just Codex and we're right there for you. Once again, my name is Tim. This is One Shots. This person over here next to me, Jude Ellison S. Doyle, absolutely amazing writer. You guys have a wonderful day.